News 8. And good morning here at 6 a.m. We do begin with that breaking news from Henrietta this morning. One person is dead. Three others battling serious injuries after a car slammed through a cement barrier along I-390. Police say this was a case of DWI. It happened just after 11 o'clock last night. The scene stretching from Clay Road to 390 South and into the Walmart parking lot there. First responders initially believed the crash happened on 390, but as they learned through the overnight investigation, in fact, that was not the case. Christian Garzon is live in Henrietta at the scene this morning. Christian, we have learned a lot over the last hour. What are investigators saying actually happened? Mark, like you said, the wreck happened here on the side of 390 South, which is actually back open now. We've learned a lot overnight. Details are coming in right now. We've got uh, police came to understand that a car with four people inside had been speeding south on Clay Road when it failed to take a turn toward Marketplace Drive. The car went off the road and crashed through a cement barrier, hit a sign, and landed on the side of the expressway. Jordan Campbell, 22 of Rochester, has been charged with DWI at this point, vehicular manslaughter and vehicular assault. Uh, police have not released any specific information about the other identities of the people inside that car. A male passenger was eaten by the vehicle and pronounced dead at the scene. Three others have been hospitalized. We do know two of the survivors suffered serious physical injuries. A third was hospitalized in critical condition. None of their names are being released until their families uh, can be notified. You know, it's always, it's always a sad thing to see, and this, is, this time of year with the holidays, it makes it difficult. But, uh, you know, we have a job to do. We're professionals, and we owe it, you know, to the families to find out what happened here because they want answers, and we want answers. So we're going to work very hard to get that for them. You know, investigators say the car must have been traveling at an incredible amount of speed, uh, well above what's, what's uh, warranted for Clay Road there. Uh, we're, police are checking with Walmart surveillance cameras and surveillance cameras from other businesses to determine what exactly happened here. So stay tuned to News 8. Details as they come in. Mark? Lots to piece together for investigators. Christian, thank you for the live update.